I had you turn to Titus chapter 2, look at verse number 3. The Bible reads, The aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. Verse 3, or for, excuse me, verse 5 is what we're going to be focusing on. To be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. We believe here, I believe wholeheartedly, the Bible teaches us very clearly that men and women have different roles, different functions within the family, that the man is supposed to be uh, the leader, the strong one, the one who goes out and provides and works by the sweat of his brow to provide for his family. And the wife is supposed to stay at home and be a home keeper, a homemaker, a keeper at home, as the Bible says right here, as their job to make sure that everything is running appropriately at home. And, you know, it's, it's pretty insulting for people to say, like, oh, what, you know, where does your wife work? And you're like, well, she, she works at home. She, she has a full-time job keeping the house because it truly is a full-time job. And when you're doing things, especially when you're following the, the biblical way of, of raising a family, and especially the ideal way, right? I, I get people are maybe in, in screwed up situations, but I always try to preach to the ideals, to what should be the norm, what should be the standard, what is it that the Bible's teaching? You know, if you're not in the situation, maybe, you know, you become a widow or, or you know, divorce or something like that, and you're a single parent raising children. This, you know, there's going to be some things, hopefully you can still take from this, but that's not God's plan or intent is for people to get divorced and have to be single parents raising children. Obviously, widows is a different story, and there's some work for that, but I'm not going to get into all that. We're going to be focusing just on a normal family that has a mother and a father and children and... Um, just kind of focus on that. But women here are instructed, and in Titus 2, you can see the aged men, the aged women, the young men, the young women, all are getting different instructions given to them as to, you know, what they should be doing. So here the women are told to be, you know, that they're, they're to be keepers at home, and that is part of their job. Well, as I mentioned, you know, I was a keeper at home for the past couple weeks, and, and running things completely in the household. And it is a lot of work. I'm the first to testify. It is a lot of work. And I, I appreciate having these opportunities to do this because it gives me a better appreciation of my wife. It truly gives me a much better appreciation of her. Not that I didn't appreciate her before, but when you get used to doing your work and as a man, you're, you're, you're in charge of everything. The husband is, is, is the boss of the whole family. So there's things that if you want it done, you know, every, the responsibility all falls on your shoulders. But you have to understand, and, it, and this is the hard part, is when you're not micromanaging, right? Because I don't, I don't think micromanaging is a good way to manage. But when, you know, you can make sure that certain things are being done within your house, you got to make sure your, your kids are being taught and raised properly by your wife and if there's any lacking there you're responsible dad to, to make sure those things are being done and the way that you want your house run just understand though especially with the bigger families the more kids you have there's a lot of work there's a lot of work that is being done and sometimes you may not see it these are things that once i start experiencing them you know when i come home from work if i see something that's messed up or so you know things out of order it's easier to get like, well, what's up with this, huh? How, wh why is this like that? Why isn't this clear? What's this mess about, right? And, and to come home and, and kind of have these expectations when you weren't there all day and you don't know the whole story of everything that goes on. <laughs> 